Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Pega Learning. In this episode, we'll explore and create a connect generative AI and do a POC to generate custom AI content. Let's go to integration connectors and create a new one. You can give your respective class name and create it. We can see there are two sections, request and response. In the request section, we have a use case drop down that you can select for your purpose. This explains what kind of PI content you are going to generate with this connector. Now, there are different types of use cases. You can select text, QA, image, or any custom purpose. Let's select text as part of this POC. Next is the prompt. In the prompt field, enter or select a field value. On the field value form, you can write your prompt. It doesn't support field value parameters. So you cannot pass the parameters in the field value. To make it dynamic, you can include the properties where you can set your dynamic content. Suppose this is our example prompt. We want to generate movie details. We'll pass the year dynamically from the UI. Now, Let's come to the response part. In the response, we have a radio button that contains three types of responses. First is structured single. Use this when you know the response structure and expect a page in the response that contains one or more fields. Basically, we want to map to the embedded page that contains some properties. We can use this option. For this option, we do not have to supply any response format in the request prompt. Pega automatically takes care of that and maps the data to the clipboard page. Second is structured list. Use this when the response is a list and contains several fields. Basically, when we want to map to a page list property, we can use this. You can keep the page list property here and the single properties inside the page list. For this option as well, Pega automatically takes care of the response format and maps the data to the clipboard page. The last one is unstructured. When you have a complex use case, you can use this. For this one, Pega does not automatically parse or map the data to the clipboard page. You can parse yourself and map the data into the desired structure. In this video, we'll do the POC using the structured single response and in part 2 of this video, we'll explore more about the other two types of responses. Now let's add the properties. We want the response to be mapped to an embedded page movie details. So add the properties accordingly. We want the movie name in movie title and the description in the plot summary property. Okay, we are all done with the connector. Now let's invoke this connector. We can invoke it from activity and smart shape as well. We'll check both options. First, let's create the activity. We just need to call the PX connect to generative AI activity and pass the newly created connector in the role name parameter. Okay. Now call this activity and we are done. Now we will create a case and we can see the year on the UI. Let's enter any year 2021, which is passed to the prompt text field value dynamically. We'll keep the tracer on to check the generated prompt and request response. Clicking on continue and the connector is invoked. If you haven't seen the other video yet where we explored the background rules while Pega connects to Generative AI, please check the link given in the description below. Now coming back to the tracer, we can see the final prompt, request and response. In POI final prompt, if you see, we entered the text in the prompt until 2021. After that, Pega automatically added the JSON format in which format it should give the response. Movie details is a JSON object 
that contains a plot summary and movie title keys in this JSON object. So these are two properties that we added to the response in the connector rule. We should give a proper description in the respective property rules so that it can properly describe the purpose of the field in the requested prompt. Now py raw text gives us the actual JSON response text which is mapped to the movie details embedded clipboard page. Now we will add another property director and invoke this from the smart shape. Now let's go to the flow and we can see there is a new smart shape connect generative AI. Let's add this and pass the connector name. Let's click continue again to invoke the connector. Yes, we can see the director is also added to the JSON and we can also see on the UI the value of the director. We can also have a look at the clipboard. Let's open the clipboard. Yes, we have the movie details embedded page where those response properties are mapped. If you have explored, please let me know your findings in the comment section below. In the next video, we'll do a POC for the structured list and unstructured response. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.